For Splodinator.com, I'm Noobs. Guys, <laughs> I am overwhelmed with all the Nintendo Switch news and rumors that have been coming out lately. Uh, so I thought I would try to make sense of all the game-related stuff we've been hearing. All the rumors about what's coming out at launch, what's being developed for later. Tried to compile it all here for you guys. Uh, there's too many sources to name, links to all the stories in the description, but generally you can thank the big three, right? Emily Rogers, Laura Kate Dale, and Eurogamer, who have really been the all-stars of Nintendo Switch news in the last few months. All right, now I tried to order these in what we've heard uh, for when they'll be coming out. So starting with launch games, these are like whatever March games, all right? Starting with the newest and craziest uh, that we've heard, uh, Ubisoft supposedly developing a Rabbids slash Mario crossover RPG. What? <laughs> uh, so the working title is supposedly Mario RPG Invasion of the Rabbids. Uh, the story being a uh, invasion of the Mario universe by the Rabbids characters from Ubisoft's Rayman games. Supposedly there will be a focus on more minor Mario characters, particularly supposedly Yoshi is a party member alongside a, alongside a playable rabid, okay? Uh, we've also heard from someone else that it's more of a tactical RPG. The comparison was to XCOM. I don't know guys. Uh, you know what? Nintendo needs third party support and if this is how they win it over, fine with me. Uh, personally, I prefer a real Mario RPG, but not even Nintendo is making those these days, so we'll take what we can get. We've also heard that the Mario, the, the real 3D Mario game that was shown in the, uh, the initial reveal trailer is coming at launch as well. Uh, it supposedly features a 3D open world hub uh, where you can go to different worlds uh, this, with multiple objectives, uh, closer to Mario 64 or Mario Galaxy. Uh, less like the 3D Land, 3D World games. And then also there will be a co-op version of the main game that was sort of the multiplayer that was teased in the trailer, although it wasn't very clear what was going on there. And then as well, we're hearing that Splatoon remaster that was shown in the uh, reveal trailer will also be at launch, and supposedly for the more expensive Switch SKU, it'll be bundled in with the system. So there's a bunch of these games we'll be talking about. Splatoon's the first one that are basically enhanced ports of Wii U games. It seems like there's a lot of work going into these, a lot more than just straight ports. Uh, in Splatoon's case, uh, we're hearing it'll be uh, include a 1v1 mode where two players on separate switches can fight over a map uh, and switching weapons uh, within during the game. So that's very different from traditional Splatoon up to this point. Uh, and also, apparently, there are plans to add more single-player content to the game as well. That's news to my ears. I'm not a huge online gamer, but I did enjoy the campaign in Splatoon. So uh, that's sounding good. And the Skyrim game that was shown in the trailer, but then uh, they refused to actually confirm it was being developed. That's supposedly also a launch game. And then, within three months, comes our next big remaster, Mario Kart 8. Now, you remember in that launch trailer... It looked like quite a bit of changed in this. The characters each had two items. Maybe you can switch between the items there. Uh, as well, King Boo was playable in that. Uh, we're hearing that all of the Wii U uh, DLC will be included. That's not really a surprise. But most importantly, we're hearing new tracks, new playable characters again, obvious with that King Boo, and new and improved battle mode. But yeah, thank God Nintendo apparently has heard our pleas uh, man, this sounds awesome. It's it's really more of a Mario Kart 8.5. I mean, this is bordering on a Mario Kart 9, really, here, isn't it? Uh, I really wonder what their plan with some of these going forward is. Traditionally, Nintendo has had certain games that they'll just do once a generation, like Mario Kart, a few others, but I wonder if they'll just stick with Mario Kart 8 Switch and just build onto it with more DLC. Will there ever be a true Mario Kart 9 on the system? Personally, I think they could stick with this as a base and just keep releasing classic tracks. Uh, and then, months later, we're hearing 
Breath of the Wild will finally come out. Supposedly, uh, localization for the game won't even be finished until uh, December. And then after that, they need four to six months of testing. So you kind of figure out maybe that's going to be a mid-year game, although Nintendo doesn't tend to release much during the summer. And then we're hearing Super Smash Bros. for Switch. Um, supposedly this will be a port of the Wii U game that contains all the DLC. Uh, we've heard that ba the Bayonetta and Cloud Amiibo have been held back for this release. Um, and then, yes, the other big story from just today, Pokemon Stars, that is the third version of Pokemon Sun and Moon, this is the Megaton here, guys, uh, will supposedly be coming to the Switch. Uh, supposedly it was initially planned as a summer game, uh, since been pushed back to later in the year. Uh, wow. So between those three, these are all in the months later category. I expect one of these would probably fall into, say, an early fall game, and the other two maybe would be kind of that big November game uh, slot. Like, I could see... Zelda and Pokemon, for example, both coming out in that mid-November date. And then, as well, we've heard just recently, uh, Nintendo filed a trademark for Wave Race in Europe, which apparently they had never done before, so that's interesting. Uh, by the way, uh, Wave Race Blue Storm came out in North America 15 years ago today. That's the last we've seen of the Wave Race franchise. Uh, I am, of course, a diehard Wave Race fan, loved the N64 game, I have been begging for a sequel for forever, would absolutely love to see this, but I mean, that's very little evidence to go on. Once some of these other people start talking about it, then I'll believe it. Uh, personally, I would love it if Nintendo revived a lot of these kind of mid-tier franchises that they've sort of abandoned. I think there's maybe a, a budget category of games that they could do. Uh, Wave Race, 1080, uh, Excite Bike or Excite Blank, maybe the Mario Sports games. I think they need to get into a rhythm of putting out more of these. Uh, I would love, in particular, Wave Race, though. And then, um, we don't know when Wave Race may come out or if it does at all. We've also heard, of course, the Uncle and Evil sequel, supposedly. Uh, Pikmin 4, Dragon Quest 10 and 11, Just Dance 2017, NBA 2K17, a Sonic game, all supposedly coming to the system sooner or later. So we'll see where all of those fall in as well. Beyond Good and Evil, for example, is supposedly a 2018 game. So who knows with all this stuff. Uh, but overall, I mean, this is a very strong lineup. Uh, I mean, we've got many of Nintendo's biggest franchises all hitting in the first year. Uh, Mario Platformer, Splatoon, Mario Kart, Smash Brothers, Zelda, and Pokemon. I mean, these are the biggest names Nintendo has, and they're supposedly all coming within that first year. Uh, I think, first of all, it's an amazing sign that Nintendo has finally learned its lesson after disastrous 3DS and Wii U launches that they need the big games early, and a consistent flow of games. If these are coming throughout the year, that's awesome. Uh, smaller games in between, obviously, third-party games, indie games, hopefully all those are going to be on board remains to be seen. Uh, but I think this is very, very promising. Let me know what you think about this selection of games. I know there's been some concern about too many ports. Uh, in my opinion, I think it's awesome that, that uh, the Switch is going to get all this stuff. I think a lot of these uh, did not get the love they deserved on Wii U. Very underappreciated games. They deserve a second chance. And I mean, with all these enhancements, even as someone who's played them all myself, I can't say no to any of them. Uh, and personally, I hope Nintendo keeps it up with the remasters. I, just Wii U games. Uh, so many games deserve another chance. Maybe they could fix the controls in Star Fox. I think uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns 2-pack uh, with those two games, that would be awesome to get at some point. Uh, there's so many 3DS games as well that deserve some love. How about Luigi's Mansion 2-pack? Uh, what else could they do? Kid Icarus Uprising. Uh, Wii games, of course. The Mario Galaxy games. Skyward Sword. Uh, so many games that just deserve uh, higher resolution, fixed controls. Put them out again, right? And, of course, Mario Maker. That's got to come at some point. So, yeah. Let me know what you think. Uh, Nintendo Switch looking good. Let me know if you're excited. Thanks for watching.